Welcome to Deep Lizard. My name is Chris. You probably already know that if you've made it to this video because this is the course conclusion video. I want to congratulate you for making it all the way to the end of this course. It has been a long road and this course has been jam packed with information. We've come so far from introducing PyTorch to tensors to tensor operations. <laughs> the tensor work seems like it was so long ago. Then we went into data and data processing when we looked at the fashion MNIST data set and all of the different types of considerations that you need to have when thinking about your data sets for deep learning. Then we spent quite a bit of time on neural networks and PyTorch design, all of the details about how PyTorch implements uh, deep learning and makes it easy for us and modular. Then we learned all about training neural networks with PyTorch and we saw how nice PyTorch makes it relative to uh, competitors like TensorFlow. And then we spent quite a bit of time on building a test framework so that we could do neural network experimentation. Now, unfortunately, if you look at the views for the course, I think that the neural network experimentation uh, portion at the end where we built the run manager and the test framework was probably the least popular. However, I think it's the most important part. And I just want to congratulate you if you made it through because now you are set up to where you can test multiple parameters with multiple networks. And I think that this is one of the easiest ways that I've seen to be able to rapidly test and compare uh, parameter, like changing, tinkering with parameters and also tinkering and changing network architectures. So I wanna encourage you to use the, the testing framework that we've built here and to continue on, uh, on your own, just testing as many different networks as you can and parameters and really getting a feel for what types of changes cause what type of results. The, the old way of just having a single, uh, the typical way of having a single uh, training loop and just looking at the results and then tinkering and tinkering and, and not being able to save it really easily. And as we saw the, the limitations with TensorBoard, once you start trying to do, you know, a, a large set of parameters, it really gets out of control. But with, with our setup here that we've built, you can literally test hundreds of networks and you're gonna be left with essentially a table or a database where you can look through at all of the results. So as you may know, we also had quite a bit of little like philosophical uh, bits at the end of the videos. And um, so what I'm gonna do here is leave you with another little philosophical thing that you can take, uh, take with you as you move forward in your life and apply. And um, before I do that, I'm gonna tell you a bit of a story. And so the story goes, that uh, for this course, the first, the first video for this course was uploaded on YouTube on September 3rd, 2018. And actually, the work for this course started six months prior to the first upload. So we're looking at about March 2018 is when I started work on this course. And this video lesson is being uploaded at about uh, the start of March 2022. And so we, for this course, we went nearly four years from the when the first work began to now when we're closing up the course. So the takeaway here for this story is that no matter what you're doing in life, no matter what you're pursuing, it does not matter how slow you go as long as you do not stop.